Hello, today we're going to go over how you tape the ailerons on your pits. The pits ailerons have actually quite a large gap between the leading edge of the aileron and the trailing edge of the wing in the aileron cove. This lets air through when you deflect the ailerons. That means they don't work as well. So we tape the gap so that the ailerons are much more effective and your roll rate can be as much as 20% better. So come on along and watch. So we're putting a tape seal into the aileron cove so that air cannot sneak through and make the aileron less effective and give us less roll than we want. Now, when we do that, we have to make sure that we still have full motion of the control surface. Um, that kind of means we want some kind of flexible membrane um, that we put there. And so typically we use tape to do that. Now, if we look at the illustration on the right, you can see that the aileron moves quite a bit. And it, it turns out that if you um, measure the motion of the nose of the aileron, probably our tape seal needs to be four inches wide or so in order to allow full mo mo movement. So to make a four inch wide tape seal, it turns out we can't just go buy four inch wide tape. The tapes that are uh, readily available in the big box stores and, and even on, on the internet, typically are about two inches wide. And we wanna use a tape that, that's gonna stick when we want it to, but come off pretty reliably without ripping the, the uh, paint off. Um, one product that, that has been used very successfully is uh, Frost King that you can find in the aviation uh, section of your big box store or on the internet. Um, it's two inches wide and it's designed to, to stick to um, the inside of a house and uh, be able to be peeled off in uh, months later without tearing the paint off. So we have two inch wide tape and we need to make a four inch wide seal. And we would like that four inch wide seal to have say an inch on one edge with the sticky adhesive side facing the direction that lets us attach it to the aileron cove and say an inch on the other edge with the sticky adhesive side facing the other way so we can stick the seal to the aileron. So to do that, we have to stack up multiple layers and the illustration below shows how we can do that. So whenever we do something like this, we need to figure out what tools we need, how much space we need uh, for our uh, aileron uh, seal we're going to have to measure the distance between the aileron hinges um, and probably from the hinge to the end of the aileron on each end, each of those uh, areas will get their own seal. Um, we're going to do this on some kind of work surface so we can lay out the tape as long as the maximum uh, length seal we're going to make. Um, and obviously we need some marking tools, a, a pair of scissors, and the ruler will not only let us uh, measure uh, on our work surface, but we'll use that as a tool later when we install the seal. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a nice clean work surface because the tapes are going to pick up any dirt. And then you'll probably wanna mark the length of the ailerons seal that you're making. Uh, as you can see from this, the pictures below, I like to put a piece of blue tape down with a, a Sharpie line on it to indicate the ends of the, the finished tape seal. Um, you may or may not be able to see that it, I have cut an extra, some extra length on this tape and then folded the end over. This is the first tape that is applied to the work surface at the very edge and the sticky adhesive uh, side is facing up. So I folded over each end so that that holds everything in place. Next, what we do is we cut another length of tape 
and we apply it with a one inch overlap on our first piece of tape and one inch with the sticky adhesive side facing down hangs out over the edge of the work surface. Layer three tape is placed sticky adhesive side up edge to edge with the tape we applied in, la in layer two. And it has a one inch overlap with the tape that was originally placed as layer one. So now we should see uh, two inches of adhesive sticky side up, a one inch strip that is uh, not adhesive, and then a one inch strip with the adhesive sticky side down hanging over the edge of the work surface. The fourth and last tape is applied sticky side down right down the center of our tape assembly. This will result in a strong and flexible center section of our tape seal with a one inch adhesive edge facing down and a one inch, one inch adhesive edge facing up opposite. Now we can cut the finished tape seal assembly away from the work surface at the marks that we uh, put on the blue tape and carefully carry it over to the airplane to install it. To install the tape seal, we first want to deflect the aileron full down. You can either hold it down with your elbow or have a friend hold it or hold the stick in the cockpit all the way over. Um, then we want to slide the tape seal up into the aileron cove and press the bottom of it into the aileron cove to make that stick. Now that the bottom of the tape seal has been adhered into the aileron cove with the aileron still pressed full down, we can uh, stick a ruler or a paint stick or a similar kind of uh, non-marring tool into the slot at the top of the uh, aileron cove over the top of the aileron to press the top part of the uh, tape seal to stick it down to the aileron. We'll just run that tool right down the length of the, the tape seal uh, and get it all stuck down. So, each time we install a section of tape seal on an aileron, you want to grab the control stick and make sure that, that you still have full control movement. If the uh, seal got prematurely stuck somewhere, you might have to, to uh, carefully unstick it and, and uh, move the aileron to its full deflection and get, get that stuck down again. Uh, each aileron probably is going to need two or three tape seals and if you have four ailerons, well, you, it'll, you'll be doing this for a while. After you got it all done, well, crank up the airplane and go out and try some rolls. Thanks for watching.